My name is Crispin Banda, an aspiring conservation leader in Zambia. Having lived in Mpoe, an area affected by climate change for a really long time, and only hearing of the conference of parties only a few months ago is really concerning. Because what information are you presenting and how are you gathering it if it's not from the rural residents of Africa? My name is Triumph Perry, an aspiring conservation leader from Zambia. Our natural resources are being damaged through climate change and we can't buy them back once they are gone. So my question is, how are we safeguarding the natural resources for the future generation with the funded money? And how does COP ensure that the funded money is used to help in the restoration of the natural resources? My name is Douglas Nkoma, an aspiring conservation leader in Zambia. Climate change is a crucial topic that is discussed all over the world. But according to some research, Africa only contributes less than 4% to the cause of climate change. But again, it is a continent that is most affected by climate change. For example, the areas like Mpuwe, a rural area where people depend on farming. We are experiencing extreme heat, little rain, droughts. But my question is, how does the structure of flow of loss and damage funding effectively allocate areas like food?